So let's talk about some things that we maybe should or shouldn't do. If, let's just say for example, does anybody like to climb trees? I do. I still do. I'll still climb trees. Well, this guy right here is your, is your little brother or your friend or your dad or even a tree trimmer climbing a tree. Is that a good tree to climb? No. It's not touching the line. So is it okay? No. No, because things can change. Maybe he climbs up and the weight pushes the tree into the line. Maybe the wind kicks up and blows the, the tree in the line. So if this guy is going to go climb that tree near that power line, you guys have been trained today for the rest of your lives. What are you going to tell him? What? And who's the smartest person in the in the world when it comes to electricity? Forest. Maybe you just saved the guy's life because you told him about it, right? Can you get the lights, please? You know how much electricity is in this line right here right now? 15,000 volts inside this classroom. Okay. And the electricity goes where? Down the line, down the what? Tree. Through the person to the ground. So the person just allowed himself to become a what? Conductor. Okay. Anybody in here live on a farm or a ranch? This is an irrigation pipe, okay? You lay them flat on the ground, water goes through them, and you water your fields in some cases. They used to make a lot of them out of aluminum. Is aluminum a good insulator? What is it? Conductor. So electricity goes through it real easily. So if this person is working at your farm, maybe it's your dad, and he picks one of these up around the power line, and this has happened, guys, where people have been killed doing this. What are you going to go tell that person? No. You're going to yell and scream, get away from the power line, and then, who's the smartest person when it comes to electricity? I hope so. It's deadly serious stuff. It's fun to watch this, but this is real stuff, right? So it's like he's got 30 foot arms, right? It's just like he's got a 30 foot arm because he's holding on to that thing that's touching the line so it's no different than him reaching up and grabbing it, right? How about flying kites? Who likes to fly kites? Okay, now look at this. Let's do a little math here. Let's say that the string that you have on your kite is 500 feet long. You want to get it way up there, okay? Just keep that in your mind. How far do we want you to be away from power lines? Probably at least 300 feet. And the way, easy way to remember that is 300 feet is the length of a football field, right? That's a long way. It's also normally the distance between most poles is around 300 feet. In the city, that's, it's not quite 300 feet. So if you got 500 feet of string and we want you to stay away 300 feet, how far do you have to be from that line when you're flying a kite? Why 800? Because um, you're supposed to stay 300 feet away and you have a 500 foot long street. So are you adding? Yes. Yes. So 800 feet. That's a long way, guys. That's a long way. So if you notice, you could be flying a kite in your front yard and the kite could be way up in the sky and everything's going well and you've got a house <coughs> in between you and the power lines. What happens if the wind shifts directions? You don't even have to move. Um. Your feet stay in the same place. And all of a sudden, you were flying the kite this direction. Now you're flying it that way. Okay? But you didn't follow the directions as far as distance. And if you notice, this person right here, when they're flying the kite, they don't have to move. Their feet really don't have to move that much. But the kite sure did. The kite just changed directions, didn't it? Yeah. Whoa. See that? So where did the electricity travel? Down the conductor, 
down the hall. And the string, even a teeny little string can be a conductor. Okay? Through the person to the ground. So the person just allowed themselves to become a conductor. Good job. Way to pay attention. Okay. So why does an alignment get shocked up in this bucket truck? He doesn't touch double, like both lines. That's right. That's very important. But also, he's not touching the what? The ground. the ground. You know why he's not touching the ground? Because this bucket truck is made of fiberglass, which is a good what? It's it's insulator. Insulator. It's an insulator. Electricity won't go through it. He's also got his rubber gloves on, right? Yeah. So he's got many layers of protection. Okay. So, let me ask you this. You're late for practice and your dad's a bonehead, and he drives too fast, and he runs into a power pole, and the pole falls over, and the lines fall over, and the lines end up on your car. Are you going to get out of that car, or are you going to stay in that car? Stay in. Who says stay in? Who, who, says get get, who says get out? Raise your hand. Okay, who says stay in? Okay, the stay ins win. The stay ins are alive. The get outs, they're not doing very well. I'll tell you that right now. What'll happen? Electricity will come down this line. It'll get on top of the car. The car is made of what? Metal. Which is a good so it's a good conductor. So electricity is going around the outside of the car. But it's not going to the to the ground because of those rubber tires, which are good insulators for the most part. Okay? So you're kind of like a bird on a wire there, aren't you? Yeah. You're protected. Okay? So, you're this person in that Jeep. And, that, and it might sound like that, but you're still okay. At the speed of light, 186,262 miles per second, if you have time to go, hmm, should I get out or should I stay in? What's safe to do? You've already thought about it for five seconds. You'd have been dead already, right? Uh -huh. Stay there. Stay there. Now, if you decide to get out of the vehicle, you're going to be end, up, end up touching what? You're going to touch the vehicle and the ground, the ground at the same time. See his hand? It's burning all right. And remember, it happens instantly. If it can get from Portland to here in one second, it can sure get through that vehicle through him to the ground immediately. Okay. His hands would burn. His hands would burn, but guess what? It wouldn't just be his hands because the, the electricity would go through your heart, right? And it would kill you. Is your brain? That's the ground. Okay. 